drive. Drive. Would you please repeat the destination? Repeat the destination. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And I came across this um, interesting article. Um, I Just to let you know, I signed up with uh, DoorDash. Uh, I haven't received my welcome kit or anything, starter kit, whatever you want to call it. I haven't started, I haven't gotten it yet. When I do get it and I go out, I want to take um, <clears throat> a little bit of video just on my own experience. I know there are people that have done videos all over the place, um, <clears throat> but I just kind of wanted to um, make my own little thing and kind of explain what it is that I um, that I want to do. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. I'm going to get sidetracked. No, thank you. Um, I'll just click the X. Anyway, <clears throat> I was looking at, I was trying to do a search on DoorDash and electric cars. You know, who's out there using electric cars and trying to do this? And <laughs> I came up with this article from CNN, uh, GM and DoorDash to deliver food in self-driving cars. So... Of course, this here is talking about, oh, General Motors is closing plants and cutting jobs. Well, that, how are you going to uh, do business? To, I don't know. Anyway, my first thought when I saw this was trying to imagine. Uh, my wife likes DoorDash. She likes to order stuff um, and have it brought to the house. Um, but I'm trying to think of like. Who's going to walk up to the door with your food? Or is the car going to come up alongside the curve, honk, you have to walk out and go get it. And let's say you go, how does the car know that you picked up the food? Does it, is the, does it only sit there for a certain amount of time and then drives off? Um, or do you pick your food and then push a button and it drives off? You know, like, how does that work? Uh, maybe this will tell us. I don't know, but I just don't see how that's that's going to work. And and what really sucks about this is this this puts people. This doesn't help with employment when people are trying to to make money and trying to make a living. You do stuff like this, and well, now there are people who can't get jobs. Anyway, um, it says some years soon. When was what year was this? Oh, this was this year, January 4th. Some years soon, the late night food delivery from your restaurant might arrive at your door without the delivery guy. So General Motors is <clears throat> teaming up with DoorDash to test out driverless deliveries. <laughs> During the test, there will be a safety driver in the automatic, uh, automated Chevrolet Bolt EV. But that person will be there only to take over in the event of an emergency. <laughs> so there's going to be someone in the car, but they're not going to bring you your food. <laughs> you have, I guess you have to walk out there. How could we walk up to the door? Because uh, I'm not supposed to. I'm just supposed to watch after the car. One star. <laughs> uh, the car will mostly drive on its own. The test program will take place within San Francisco, where Cruz is based. Now, one thought that I had... And I know this is going to make uh, drivers upset. I've done a lot of research and watched a lot of videos, pros and cons. And there are people that they're called they're hustling jobs is what they are. They're hustles. You got to hustle. You got to move in order to, to make money. Um, if you don't, you wind up making maybe nine, ten dollars an hour. And so people are they got more than one app going and they're. <clears throat> trying to make as much money as they can and trying to do it where they're um, being more productive, you know, not driving across town. 
if you've got a driverless car, they may still have someone in the car that brings you your food. But imagine if you don't have any control of where you drive. You go to your next order and it takes you clear across town. You know, it's, it's almost as if they're purposely designing this so that way you're not making that much money. But there's a way to always make use of your time in some way. That, that was, that's my thing. So, okay, so if it takes 10 minutes to go drive somewhere um, or 20 minutes, you know what I would do? I'd sit there with my phone and, and play Minecraft or something, <laughs> you know, or, you know, look up, it, do what I'm doing now. Look up uh, <clears throat> news articles or something, you know, there's always something you can do with your time if you're not busy. Um, anyway, Ford has also been testing so-called driverless deliveries in partnership with Domino's Pizza. Uh, and online food delivery company Postmates in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and Miami. But in Ford's case, the cars are driven by humans and only look like driverless vehicles. In Ford's tests, the drivers are instructed not to interact with customers. Huh, see? It's like, where's my food? Why didn't you bring it up there? I'm not supposed to interact with you. One star. <laughs> The purpose of those tests is to see how customers respond to deliveries when there is no delivery person of Really? How do you think they're going to respond, you idiots? Come on, I mean, think about it. You order something, and you're sitting there, and you're waiting, and you hear this car pull up. You're like, because some people who order it, you know, they, they don't have their shoes on, or, you know, not they're com not completely dressed all the way, or whatever the case obviously if they don't want to go out and get it themselves why the heck do you think they're going to want to go out to the curb to get it i mean really <laughs> i'll tell you how they're going to respond they're not going to respond very well that's how they don't really use common sense when it comes to this stuff do they all right anyway uh gham GM, GM has said that it hopes to someday offer a driverless taxi service. I can see that. Um, well, like, well, we know like Uber and at least Uber is trying to do the whole driverless car thing. Uh, anyway, delivery is a significant opportunity for crews. I see crews. I think Tom Cruise. As we prepare to commercialize our autonomous vehicle technology and transform transportation. Partnering with DoorDash will provide us with critical learnings as we further our mission to deliver technology that makes people's lives better and more convenient, except for the people that need jobs. Um, that's not important there. Selected DoorDash customers in San Francisco will be able to order meals from local restaurants or fresh grocery items and have them delivered by cruise automated cars. Again, you got to take your ass outside and go get your stuff. <laughs> Which for some people is not good because um, like the Instacart for grocery shopping, there are elderly people who use it because they're not able, physically able to really go anywhere to, to do it. So they, it helps when someone comes up to their door and delivers it. Um, I read one case where there was an elderly lady that lived on a, on a, like a second floor. Um, and, and so, I mean, it wasn't the greatest for the guy delivering, but you know, if you think about service and trying to help others, um, I would think it would kind of make you feel good that you're actually helping someone out. But yeah, can you imagine that? You know, the, you get, you're, you're 90 years old, you know, you're not moving so well and you get a message saying that your 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 groceries are here you got to come you know downstairs and across the parking lot because that was the only place they could find the park <laughs> yeah this ain't gonna work it's not gonna work um okay yeah so that's the end of the article uh it is from cnn so you know, take that you know as you will uh, maybe they just made it up. I don't know. 
Uh, this would be good as a joke, I suppose. It sounds like a joke anyway. What do you guys think, huh? What, what, do you, what do you think? Do you use any of those app services? Do you use Grubhub? Do you use DoorDash? Uh, do you use Uber? Um, I know Uber seems to be popular for uh, some people so they don't have to go buy a car. You know, they just use an Uber, come get a quick ride to wherever they need to go, and, you know, it's all good. Um, but what do you think? Do you use those things? Um, are you? Do you do you actually work for them? Do you do del a delivery for them? Um, let me know what you think. What do you think about this? If you already use this and and a vehicle came up with your stuff and you had to walk out and go get it I mean, would you would you like that i wouldn't but you know that's just me anyways um i hope to hear from you comments down below and click the subscribe button because you never know what i'm going to upload on this channel i try to find interesting things but uh, when it comes to Shep Rambles, it's just, like I said, anything and everything. Whatever I come across, I just do a video on. So, anyhow, thanks, and I'll see you on another rambling video.